everyone, welcome to the Brianna Edit. Today I have an apartment tour for you. I'm going to show you around my Long Island City Queens apartment. We are one stop outside of Manhattan, 15 minutes into Midtown if you have to go to work there like me, so it's very convenient. Um, we have a pretty minimalist theme, lots of green plants, and I just am so excited to show you everything. We've been here for about five months now, so we're kind of together. I'll definitely update you more as we go along, but um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe for more home updates, and let's get started. So this is what it looks like when we walk in. We are in the kitchen when we walk in. We have this cute little um, mirror that we got from Amazon, I believe. Yeah, it's Amazon. I forgot how many inches. I want to say it's a 19 inch, 19 inch round mirror that we could just fit over here so that way we can check ourselves out before we leave. And then we have these two hooks. Um, I believe we got these hooks from Amazon as well that we can hold our keys. And I have my little purse to go on as well as we have our masks since we're in quarantine. And then I have a trash can over here. It's just like one of those sensor trash cans. I actually got this trash can for two for 70. So it was a pretty good deal from Amazon and I never want to touch trash can lid again. So now we're in the rest of the kitchen. We have, the kitchen is honestly pretty big. Um, we have a island that we got from Wayfair, which has been really convenient for us. So we can just like pull up and sit down and eat some food. And um, it's great for a small space. And then it's cool because it also has like these little storage shelves over here. It's kind of junky right now, but I have like a silver um, bowl I got from Target. I have one of these cup holder things. That way we can like um, protect our island. I have a plant, Jamal's picture of his grandparents. Then we have a couple of vases down here that I honestly just needed somewhere to put them. Then showing you the rest of the kitchen, we just have um, white, glossy, modern cabinets. And then we have this cute little sugar bowl that I took from my parents. We have a nice gas stove, um, coffee machine, bananas. This is a cute little, you would think it's a vase, but it's actually an accent light. And let me try to, try to turn it on. And I got this accent light from TJ Maxx. And then as well as my favorite part of the kitchen, we have these LED lights. And originally these were supposed to go in the, like on another project I'm gonna show you later. <laughs> but, I did not want multicolored lights for that project, so I just figured we could put them under the cabinets, and it's a really cool vibe because you can kind of pick like what color you want to go with. And we have Amazon set up on our Alexa, set up on our other lights over there too. So um, those will like flash different colors too. <laughs> of course, Alexa talks now. Then the rest of the kitchen, I have this cute little fake plant I got from Target. We have another picture of Jamal's grandparents. Then we have just some wine that we are drinking this weekend. So that is the kitchen. Apartment for us was actually having a washer and dryer in here. So we are in the kitchen and it's just in here. So it's really nice because a lot of New York apartments don't have a washer and dryer in the unit. So that was major. And we kind of use it for storage too. Like we have like towels and stuff up there and the cat food and like brooms stuck in the sides and we have our iron here. So. Yes, so upon entering, we have the bathroom. Jamal's mom, my boyfriend, is an artist, so she gave us this piece right here that actually comes in a set, and I thought it was pretty cute and like a pop of color for the apartment that's mostly monochromatic. Then we have the bathroom. We have this long horizontal mirror in the bathroom, as well as a medicine cabinet behind us. Then we made the most of the storage space because we literally just have these two cabinets and this open space underneath. So 
I just kind of filled it up with like these little TJ Maxx baskets and like this is a big, you know, travel bag that I have from Wayfair, as well as these shelves we put up here. So that way we can store more of my stuff. I have so many hair products and I just kind of like switch them out every season. Like this season I have braids, so it's just braid pro braiding products, as well as we have like hair things and my makeup here and as well as like some makeup palettes in there too. Then I have a little marble clock that I think I got from TJ Maxx too, or Home Goods, one of the two. And then the rest of the bathroom, we have just a standard. We have these two hooks that we got from Amazon, so that way we can have like a place for our washcloths, as well as um, bathtubs, tile. And then we have um, this shower head that my boyfriend got from Amazon. Now we are in the living room. This is one of my favorite spaces. Well, honestly, the living room is pretty much the entire apartment, but um, let me show you around. I have this little entertainment center set up. So I got these two shelves from Ikea. I forgot exactly, I think they're Vitzjo, Vitzjo shelves. They're about like $50 each. So this is a little compact space. We wanted something tall to fit over here to show off our stuff. So these display shelves of four. Um, I have coffee table books and a magazine here. These two bookends I got from Amazon. We have a Vogue 100, a Century of Style book, New York, New York, and ID magazine, just for color scheme purposes. Then my boyfriend is a huge basketball fan. So we have this basketball from his favorite team. And then down here we have a fashion coffee table book. This coffee table book is really cool because not only does it look awesome, the typography is beautiful. It has like everything on every designer ever almost. So it's just amazing. Like the whole century of fashion. And honestly, it's just a great read as well as it looks beautiful. And then down here I have these um, this table vase set that I got from Wayfair that I thought just went with everything excellently. Excuse the cables, those are ugly. Now I'm showing you our gallery wall here in the center. I absolutely love this gallery wall. I got all of these prints from Decenio, um, Decenio.com and actually, yeah, all of them are from Decenio. Um, most of them, we just kind of like experimented with what we think this, thought this could be like. Um, we wanted something minimal and clean, but still like artsy and like fun. So we have the New York here in typography. I'm a designer, so typography is like a big deal for me. Um, we have these hands, little hands graphic, graphic of two faces. Um, we have this like, I don't know, acrylic looking graphic. Then we have a picture of some townhouses in New York. Um, the Empire State Building, line art, and then I have this abstract piece. I'll probably change this one out soon because when it came, it didn't fit the frame in the way I would like it to. And then this one, which I thought was really cool. So this is our gallery wall. Then if you move this way, we have our um, top of our shelf again here. We have a vase that I got from at home. It's like a home mega superstore really cool um, I have this Sculpture that I thought was neat that I got from CB2 uh, My boyfriend has a Kobe Bryant coffee table book Rest in peace Kobe all about Eve Saint Laurent and then this is actually supreme models um, black models like in fashion then I have this cute little cozy basket that I got from West Elm and I can store my throw blankets in. And then I have this cool, um, then I have this cool lamp that I got from Ikea, paper lamp. We have our fake like ease share. <laughs> um, I have it here with our Ikea sheepskin thrown on top of it. Um, this used to be my desk chair, but it was just pretty uncomfortable because it's like a plastic material. And then moving up, 
I have this plant that I got from at home. It's pretty cool. It has like a wooden base. And that is our little entertainment section. And the entertainment center is from Ikea as well. That's Maya. <laughs> So now we have this couch area. I'm just gonna start with the couch itself. The couch itself is from, it's like a home store. I believe I got it from Regency Furniture. Yep, Regency Furniture. Um, so it's an actual furniture store, furniture store. I went and I went couch hunting. Um, so we have these pillows here. I have this gray pillow. Are these gray pillows? I, I think my boyfriend got these gray pillows from Target. Then I have this fluffy pillow that came with a Target set too. I got this pillow from Target as well. Wow, Target sponsored me. <laughs> and then I have this pillow from, where is this? At Home. At Home is a great selection of pillows as well. And then I got this lamp from Target. This side table, I got this side table from Home Goods. It's really cute and small and fits perfectly within this like little small space. We have this fake plant from Target. We have this Eiffel Tower, and then we have this base that I also got from Target. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower I actually got on a trip to Paris. Uh, maybe I'll post this video one day, but me and my best friends went to Paris and had an awesome time. And then we're hiding our subwoofer underneath our coffee, I mean our side table, so convenient spot for it. Moving on to the coffee table. This coffee table is um, an Ikea coffee table. I believe it's hmm, Vichdo, I wanna say, I'm not sure. The coffee table is cool. We have a great coffee table book on top of it called Monochrome Home that just really brings in the rest of the house and the vibe because it is a monochrome color scheme. So Monochrome Home, um, it's just a great home coffee table book to look around and get some inspiration from places that look similar to ours. Then down here, we have a little tray. It's like a, a metal tray that I got from at home to store like my magazines and stuff that I need for underneath the coffee table. So I have this cool um, fake plant. I believe I got from Home Goods. We have cup holders to put on top of the coffee table. Then we have these magazines. Um, I have like, I'm a magazine collector. Magazines are important to me in a way, you know, I actually work for a magazine company. So it's, I just always have magazines on deck. And before I forget over here near the couch, we also have this art I got from Society6. It's closer by Queeb. I've always wanted this print, so. I think it's a cute little subtle print to put in here. This New York and Brooklyn print. I actually got this when I lived in Virginia, so it's pretty neat that I finally live in New York. And I'm living my dreams up here, and I really like the metal look of it. I got it from Ikea, so. Here is our closet. It's a pretty small closet. Not too much storage space, but um, it has a built-in that I have a love-hate relationship with. So we can like kind of store stuff in here. That's my boyfriend's side, he's a neat one. <laughs> and this is my side. And then we have my purses that we just kind of got like a hook to put my purses on. And then I have like camera equipment in there. I have my shoes in there. We have shoes all the way on top and like more clothes stuffed in there. So pretty standard closet but we made the most with what we have now this is one of my favorite parts of the apartment is this um hove mirror that we got from ikea we really love it and i have this cute little plant from at home to match the plant over there in the corner this remote um actually controls the lead lights that we diy'd and we put around this mirror and these LED lights were like, or LED lights, <laughs> were $25, you can see my ring light. These LED lights were $25, you guys. And I just put them around this mirror and watch this magic. Like what, what? They just stick on, they stick on around the mirror and you can brighten it with this remote. 
You can make it cooler with this remote. You can make it warmer. You can turn it up. Honestly, the best, the best purchase. It's amazing for selfies and things of that nature. Like you can already tell, looking at my outfit, like you guys. <laughs> Here we have our desk area, which is super important now that we are in quarantine. Um, well, we'll be working from home indefinitely really here in New York. So I have, have this stand for my laptop here. Originally we had one monitor, which was this size and it was my monitor. And then um, my boyfriend stopped letting him expensive monitor, so he bought a monitor about my size, so it's kind of overwhelming for this desk, but it's really convenient for both of us because both of us actually involve coding in our jobs. So we like having like both monitors to reference back and forth. And then I just set my laptop right up here and then plug it in. And then I have my keyboard, which is a Mac keyboard. I finally invested in one before I had like an Amazon keyboard. I'm still cheap on my mouse though, I got from Amazon. Then we have like another one of those coaster things I told you about that I can kind of, you know, just put my drinks on so I'm protecting this wood. I got this desk chair from Wayfair. It's kind of new. It doesn't really roll that well, but um, in comparison to that chair over there, it really gets the job done, so. Oh, this lamp is from Target. Like most of everything in here. <laughs> Then we have these huge sliding doors that you will see will be the entrance to our bedroom. And I have this cute um, bookshelf that we put up there. And I added um, a plant from Ikea and a vase from Amazon to put in, you know, a planter from Amazon to put the fake plant in. We have, this is so hard to show y'all because it's so high up. We have um, a couple vases, the little mini white vases are from CB2. It's a set of three and they came, I think they weren't that expensive. I think they were like $12 for that set of three. Then I have like another cute plant I got from TJ Maxx on the right. Then I have a bunch of books up there that we will use from time to time and reference a trick for decor is if a book doesn't go with your um, color scheme, just turn it around. And once you turn it around, it's just a neutral color because it's just paper. So the spine is facing the other way. So there you go. Now this is the bedroom. So the bedroom is small. It's like I think nine feet by nine feet, but it gets the job done. I have this giant photo of New York up here that I purchased from Ikea. I have this bedspread that we got from Brooklinen. Then we have um, a New York photo up there framed, as well as we have pictures of ourselves. I have this cool grid that I got from Amazon and I pinned pictures of us that I printed with my little selfie printer um, and made them black and white so it actually go with this color scheme. Then I have um, a plant, the marble plant that's from Home Goods, and then we have a couple of like little city memorabilia that we got from traveling. Then over here, my, Jamal, my boyfriend got that lamp from Ikea. Then we have a white TV. I have a jewelry stand that I got from Amazon so my necklaces would stop tangling all the time. My watch is down here. I have a lot of hair ties right now since I have braids, remotes. I journal at night. Um, it's actually a really great reflective journal. So I reflect with this journal here. Then we have books that we like to read before we go to bed. And then we have, this is just like a change jar. <laughs> um, I have some earrings over here. And then Jamal has his watch case. The bedroom is here. This is it. As well as we have our Alexa up there. Be quiet. I'll show you right now. <laughs> and then we have this wardrobe um, that I got from Ikea. This wardrobe has been pretty great um, for storing just like clothes and things of that. You know, this was great in the winter time to store coats and everything like that. Um, and we're in New York, so we have little hacks like we stored uh, our vacuum cleaner in here too. So 
yeah that is the bedroom so that is our apartment tour thank you so much for watching let me know what you think if you got any cool ideas off of this um it's been really a journey we've only been here for about five months and COVID hit so I just really am glad I have this outlet to decorate my home and share it with you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching.